Hey, this is Tiffany, uh, aka DJ Crunk Pony. Uh, I play a lot of music, vinyl, but I also play Serato. I think it's really convenient for playing out because I don't have to carry that much stuff. So today I'm going to talk about um, how to track list of songs you played. I'm really big on track listing your mixes. When I see a mix that's track listed, I think it looks more professional. And it gives me a sort of idea if I want to listen to the mix so I can kind of peep what tunes are in there. Um, and it's like respectful to the artist who made that music. I mean, if someone likes a song, then they can be like, oh, I like that song. Maybe I'll buy it or play it or blog about it or whatever people like to do. So right now, uh, I don't have my Serato box connected. As it says right there. Um, I don't need it connected for this. I just want to retrieve some data, maybe uh, put together, you know, a track list for a mix I'm going to upload somewhere. So I can go back pretty far as long as I didn't delete my history and I can see a set that I played on 53010. Uh, I just went to history to open that panel and I can choose what fields I think are important there. Uh, I think playtime is helpful because if I have a song like this one here, that I only had for 29 seconds, I might be able to also infer that I didn't actually play that song out. Maybe I was just testing it in my headphones and maybe I didn't feel like it was the right thing to play after the cure close to me. So once I'm in this window and I have uh, this date selected, I can export it and I have several different formats. I can export it to a Serato playlist, which would be essentially putting it online. Serato's created something. I don't know, that's not really helpful for me. Um, just text file, uh, comma separated values. Um, but for me, I think just text works well. Um, you just, you're on the date, uh, export. And if you look down here, it's telling you what it's doing. It's like, oh, I'm gonna export the track to here. Session exporter to user. I can see where it is. So if I leave Serato for a second, I don't have to close it, but just sort of minimize it. I can go to that place. And the default place for most people's computers is right here. It's whatever profile that you have. I'm on a Mac. I assume it's the same on a Windows PC. And um, let me just go back and look again, actually. Then under your music folder, uh, there's a scratch live folder. Here's your history export. And I was looking at 530. So if I look here, I have 530. I pressed it several times, so it made sort of different instances of it. But we can open it. I love to open it in Notepad. It's pretty simple and to the point. And bam, I have the list of all I the songs I played in track order with all the fields I cared about looking at. And that is it. Good night.